Trust the Profits and Playup Race Book present the live reaction, analysis, and recap of the 2022 Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. All right, so we are loading up for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Uh, three to two favorite right now is Goodnight Olive, the Chad Brown horse. El Hombre, what do you think of the way this field is is setting up as they're getting loaded? Yeah, I was I was on the eight, um, Goodnight Olive. I think that's probably the highest choice, obviously being eight to five. But I also like Echo Zulu a lot. The thirteen hate yeah, the post was, draw, but both of us still could get there. Yeah, in our only winners video, Echo Zulu. Um, I also like obligatory Frank's Rocket and Slam. Slam getting fifteen to one, I think, is a nice long here. Uh, the Japanese horse Chain of Love is very interesting as well. I almost put uh, Chain of Love into my box, but there's some Japanese contingent right there on the camera now. I'm so. guessing that's Chain of Love's people right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, Chain I did the great. same. I, I think obligatory Goodnight Olive, Echo Zulu, and I threw Frank's Rockette in. Frank's Rockette, I think, has a, a little outsider's punching chance here at eight to right. one. So in terms I expect of winners, Echo we... Zulu and Goodnight Olive to go right to the front here, hopefully. Right, right. Echo Zulu we had needing to get out to the front nine to two, but in the 13 hole, that's going to be a tough one. But that is our pick to win. So let's see, they're, <laughs> they're waiting on Chain of Love here to get loaded up. There we go. We're getting Christmas close. Christmas morning begins right now in, in Keeneland. Let's do it. First Saturday race, Breeders' Cup. Let's see it happen. Anytime now. Oh, they're off. 12 horses dashing easy. out to the front. Good night, Olive. It looks like it's making its way up there. Echo Zulu the way on the outside. Echo Zulu, Lady Rocket trying to weed in and get close. Slammed Both Lady Rocket her. and Echo Zulu look like Slammed on looking point like early. they did that what they needed to. Slammed out in front. That's the one horse drawn 14 to 1. Horse that we were just talking about with Edgeway, the two horse, 28 to 1. They're setting the pace right now. It looks like Slam just trying to edge out in front there, but definitely a lot of pressure on that pace. Wicked Halo is the gray right there, second on the rail, the 11. That was, uh, I believe, Colin Sheehan, one of our partners here, was on heavy on that horse. Let's see what happens there. Got caught Good. up a little in traffic. Echo Zulu is about four deep. Not a perfect trip here for, for old Easy, although she's starting to come alive. Yeah, not, not horrible. I mean, uh, definitely a little bit off the pace there. Looks like Slam just fallen back a little bit. Edge like good night, Olive up. and uh, Echo Zulu. Here comes the duel. Eight and thirteen. <clears throat> good night, Olive has cleared. Zulu good has night, cleared, Olive. and here they go. Echo Zulu. Good night, Olive. Good night, Olive is clearing. Echo Zulu's Drawing moving up away. though. It's going to be tough. Looks like it's going to be eight. Good night, Olive. The eleven possibly squeaking in too, but no. Looks like Echo Zulu's, Zulu's number two. Second. The eleven, Wicked Halo, is your third yep. horse. There you go. No surprises. Running to form early. Yeah, no surprises. Top two, like we talked about. I thought with a deep field, Golden Olive could have gotten pushed out potentially. That there was a, a a good reason to state that Echo Zulu we had pretty high came in second. Didn't see obligatory. Didn't see much from obligatory or Frank's Rocket. A little bit surprised didn't there. Didn't say Frank's Rocket once. Yeah. Got caught in the back of the pack. Didn't really show anything down the stretch. But Echo Zulu uh, maintains greatness. I mean, you can't really knock her on the, on that ride. It was not like we said. A, not a perfect trip. Bad post draw. Was yeah. deep Was deep on the outside most of the race, but still, still was able to break through. But good night, Olive. was too much, babe. Absolutely, absolutely. Pretty yeah, chalk in the exacta. What, what do you got here for the trifecta? What do you think that's going to pay out? You, use Ooh, that talent of yours. What do we have? We had eight to five over Echo Zulu. Went about four to one. Four to one. And then the and eleven horse. Um, Wicked Halo was about eleven or twelve to one, maybe. L Wicked Halo was fourteen to one. Okay, I'm going to call that a forty. Four dollar try bad, on a fifty cent bet. We'll see how, we'll see how that works out. But hey, good way to kick off the show here. What do we have? Eight more after this World Championships at Keeneland. The best day of the year. Merry Christmas once again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace on Earth. By the way, play up sports. Thanks for the sponsorship. And please like and subscribe to this video. Boom. Absolutely. See ya. Thanks for watching. Trust the profits. Your home for the best in horse racing and sports analysis.